Clouds are thickening up now as the storm begins to move in. Here's the current view from Loveland Ski Area looking toward the east. And here's the view in the last 45 minutes from the top of our building looking to the west. The clouds coming in as a cold front begins to push into Colorado and it's going to bring us back to February like weather conditions. Top temperature today was 57, 30 the low. That's still above the normal by about 10 degrees on both sides, but well shy of the record of 72. Right now getting a little colder, 47 out at the airport, 50 downtown winds are from the northeast at 14. Pressure is rising currently. Here's the situation around the region. Temperatures ranging from the 30s back to the west to the 60s and 70s down to the south. And there's the weather system coming our way. The low pressure center now located near Salt Lake City is going to move into the state tonight. But the bulk of the moisture is going to be to the north of us. This storm is coming too far north for Denver to get significant snow out of it. Matter of fact, overnight tonight will be in the dry sector and the warm sector across much of southeastern Colorado with temperatures in the 30s to around 40 for lows. Mountains get some snow, teens and 20s up there. Here's what happens tomorrow morning. The center of the low is right on top of Denver and watch as it moves out out across the eastern plains. Almost all the snow stays to the north of us. We get a few showers of rain and snow. Mountains will still get their share of moisture, but it's just not the right track for us to get a lot of water out of it. So we're going to see 8 to 12 northern central mountains, 6 to 10 southwest, a trace to an inch out of the northeast plains, including the Denver area. The heavier stuff stays off to the north of us. Highs tomorrow still 60s to the southeast, but only 40 in Denver, 20s and 30s expected the mountains. Watch what happens with this system after it leaves Colorado. A big storm heading up across the Midwest into the Great Lakes. Matter of fact, they're looking at one to two feet of snow across portions of South Dakota, Nebraska, parts of Southwest Minnesota, including parts of Wyoming as well. We're just not going to quite catch it except for the high country. What we will get, colder temperatures. Tonight, 30, dry and cool on the plains, some snow in the mountains. Tomorrow, the high temperature expected at 40 with rain and snow showers, but the amounts are not going to be much. But it will be windy with strong north winds, 15 to 25 miles per hour. Cold air comes back in here by Friday, only 32. Windy, cold flurries Saturday morning, dropping to 12, 35 in the afternoon. Another system brings more snow to the mountains, but dry on the plains on Sunday. Monday, milder, back up to 50. And then we do actually have a chance of some snow here in Denver Tuesday of next week with highs in the upper 30s. That